Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a little bit of a different type of video. I know what you're thinking. Laura, there's a box. This is clearly an unboxing. You would be correct, <laughs> but it's also going to be a kidding up video. So one of the kits, well, my birthday order from Dye Moon Shop came in just a couple of days ago, and this is one of those kits. So I haven't had a chance to unbox it on the channel just yet, but this kit has kind of been in the back of my mind to be a January kit for me. I just wasn't sure if it was going to get here in time, but it did. So I haven't had a chance to share it with you, unbox it with you. So I thought I would just combine the two and make it one fun video. <laughs> fun is to be determined. But this is going to be my first kit for 2023. Uh, let's get into the unboxing. So I'm going to go ahead, pull everything out, and then I will be right back. Okay, here she is. This is Asteris by the artist Cheryuki. I don't know if I said that correctly, but before we get in too far, <laughs> I just want to give you guys a little tip. So it's been a bit since I've ordered a Dye Moon Shop kit and they now come in boxes, which I have received a box from them before, but the box opened differently when they first moved to boxes than it does now. So <laughs> I was staring at this box like, how do I get this open? You flip up the end. And it opens like that. Very cool, interesting. So let's take a look at the accessories. Now this kit was in a dust bag. I just don't keep dust bags personally, but we have a tool kit. So we have a white boat with some different types of wax here, some tweezers, a sparkly pen with a three-placer and a squishy. We have our drills pre-bagged. Looks like we do have one AB, which is AB310. Now, if I remember correctly, oh, hello, Luna. If I remember correctly, they do send you both the, what are you doing? You can still get in the window. They send you both the AB and the regular drill, but we'll get into that in a second. We do have an inventory sheet here. It's just printed on paper, which is fine because you can make your own stickers. You can use just masking tape, or you, if you have a sticker maker from Xyron, you can use one of those. Do you like that kit? She's cute, huh? <laughs> Big stretch. Um, so we have our symbols, we have our DMC, and then you have how many drills you get, I'm assuming, and how many bags you have of each. Um, I would like for this to be a sticker sheet, but it's not the end of the world. It's just for ease of convenience. I wouldn't mind a sticker sheet, but it's nice that we have this. At least you don't have to hand draw your labels. <laughs> um, so this is a 50 by 70 round drill. Luna, you're shaking the, you're shaking the desk. Come here. I'll be out in a second, okay? Bye. Sorry about that. <laughs> Some things never change, right? Um, I only get rounds from Diamond Shop. Personally, I don't see the point in spending more for square drills. That's just my opinion. It's just my opinion. <laughs> but I thought that she would be a super cute kit for New Year. I don't know. I just get New Year vibes from her with like the silver stars in the background. She has a little tiara on. To be completely honest with you, I haven't seen this kit completed. I don't even know that I've seen it unboxed on YouTube, so I am excited to work on it. I'm not saying I'm the first one to complete it. I'm just saying it doesn't seem like a very popular piece. I know that Shariyuki is very popular, so it's kind of surprising that we don't see this piece more. Maybe I've just missed it. Maybe I don't follow the right people. Who knows? Um, so let's take a quick look at these drills. We'll take a closer look when I start kitting up, but I did want to pull the 310. Yes, so we have the 310 AB and they also give you regular 310. Now I see this in her eyelashes, which personally I would not use the 310 AB for. So I am happy to see the regular 310. I'll just use that. 
I did not get an enhancement pack. I didn't plan any special drills for this kit because it just got here. Didn't know if it would be here in time. I may, we'll see what happens when I kit up. I may look through my stash and pull a few things. I find that Dye Moon Shop uses some different drill colors. They use different DMC colors than some other companies, which I think really lends to their rendering. Ooh, the sun is out. What is happening? It's like spring here. It's so weird. <laughs> um, they use just different colors, which is kind of cool. You get to see different colors in the DMC system and you get new colors added to your stash. So I don't know that I'll have a lot of what they have charted here in my special drills, but I know I have some white. I know I have some grays. I know I have some silver sparklers. So we'll see. We'll, we'll talk about that when we start kidding up, but I think she's super cute. I do really enjoy Sheryuki's artwork. I actually have another piece coming from her from Dye Moon Shop, so I was going to hold on to this one and do both of them together, but I want to start the year with a Dye Moon Shop, okay? Sue me. <laughs> Please don't sue me, <laughs> but yeah, so let's jump over to the kidding up Hopefully I'll have new nails by then because I really need to make that happen. See you in a few. Okay, we're back. Um, today is the following day from that first part. You can tell because I did take off my <laughs> Christmas nails. I have my, my New Year's nails on. So we are going to be kitting up this painting that you just saw in that little unboxing clip. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this one. I was looking at the canvas a little bit closer and for a Dai Moon Shop and a Chair Yuki, it doesn't look like there's too much confetti. There's definitely going to be confetti, but I see some spots where I'll be able to multi-place, so that's exciting. Now I have this little bead storage set. This seems to have just become my Dai Moon Shop storage set. I don't know why, but every time I work on a Dai Moon Shop, I pull this one out, so why change that? <laughs> um, I'm hoping all of the drills fit in those containers. I don't know, I'm a little worried now that I'm looking, but we'll figure that out. I did go ahead and um, run my labels through my sticker maker. I have one of these little Xyron sticker makers, and I find that I have to kind of like finagle my the labels that they send you, so it, they come really far, like spaced far apart. So I trim them down and then tape it together and then run it through my sticker maker. So probably should have shown you guys that as I was doing it, but it kind of just escaped my mind. So I apologize, but uh, I can definitely show it in the next Diamond Shop that I work on. I amassed a collection at the end of 2022. So I, I do plan to work on quite a few this year. And yeah, let's just get into it. So Dye Moon Shop is in baggies. They ship in baggies, which is great. I know a lot of people like to just work straight out of baggies. I am not one of those people, but uh, I do like kidding up out of baggies. It's just a little bit easier. So I'm just gonna go through quickly and put these in order. They seemed to be mostly in order. Um, but I just want to line them up a little bit. So 414, 413. I must have just grabbed them out of order. So 318. I don't know. I'm I may be reevaluating my storage. I don't know. The other diamond shops that I've worked on have been smaller than this one. So I don't know that this storage system is going to work, but we'll see. Let me get everything laid out and then I will make a decision. Seven, eight, nine, nine, 37, 37, 30. I am going to collect these and put them back in order. I just want to get them laid out a little bit. So we have 
79, 865. Okay, so let me, I don't know. I, I'm thinking I might go grab a different storage. What would I want to use though? There's only, I totally just messed this up guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Let me stop talking for a second. 37, 9, 9, 8. Put those ones there. 7, 6, 5, 4. And 3, 2, 1. Okay. So now that I've got those all in order, I can just grab the baggies. Now, this kit did come with 310 AB. I don't think I'm going to use that. Um, it's charted in her eyelashes. They did send me regular 310, so I think I'm gonna go with that. But I'm just looking at my storage containers. And I'm trying to decide. I don't think I wanna use one of my big Tic Tac ones. I just don't think that this storage is going to work for me. So let me pause you guys for a second and pick a better storage option and I'll be right back. All right, I'm gonna go with Harbor Freights just because I can pour drills in here and not think about it too much. So I did have to grab some washi tape as I injure myself. Oh good, you guys can't see anyway. <laughs> All right, so I just grabbed some silver, There's lots of silver in this kit. So let's go ahead and get started. So I put these ones backwards, but that's okay. 17, okay, let's do this. So have I filmed a kit in chat since Christmas? Yes, I did. I think last Monday was a kit in chat. So what happened this week? I was off work. I filmed quite a few videos. I, uh, if you guys were looking for my part two of my multi-placing video where I talk about multi-placing with squares, I did film that. So that will be out, um, I don't I know exactly. I haven't actually sat down and done my January schedule yet. So I don't know for sure when you guys will see that, but it will be soon. Um, so if you asked me a question on that multi-placing video or on my community post, I did answer it in that video. So I think I went through and responded to all the comments, but if you felt like I didn't answer your question, um, definitely check back for that video because I go more in depth into everyone's questions there. I filmed my, oh my goodness, year in review this afternoon. I'm filming on New Year's Eve, so I did film that. You will be seeing that on the first. I decided that I wanted to post it on the first of the year, and then I would just go back to my regular schedule today, Monday, for you guys. Um, I really need to sit down and figure my schedule out, though. I feel like going from a video every day down to three days a week is going to confuse me. I feel like I've just gotten used to it, but I don't think posting every day is sustainable for me. I do work a full-time job. I feel like it's been somewhat feasible because I've had the last week and a half off um for those like you know bigger videos the longer videos that I've been posting but it was fun and I am thinking about like occasionally doing that like throughout the year so you know maybe I'm not committing to anything but maybe in like April or May it would be fun to to do a video every day the biggest thing is coming up with the content, <laughs> you know, coming up with ideas. And at the end of the year, it's pretty easy because I, I enjoy doing all the wrap up videos. So I really had fun filming my 12 completed Mandy Manzano kits video, uh, my purchases video, stuff like that. So the content at the end of the year just kind of 
is there, but coming up with something every day the rest of the year might be a little difficult, um, but we'll see. I do have, so this label here is for the AB, so I'm going to skip that one and use a regular 310. I do plan to do my week of unboxings at some point. Um, I don't quite know when. I have enough kits to actually do it now, but I don't know. Not quite sure how I want to make that happen. So, but I am curious to know your thoughts on this video, like doing the unboxing and the kitting up in one. So I mentioned, I think at the beginning of this video, I filmed the, the first part yesterday, but I did mention that, you know, this kit came in a little bit sooner than I anticipated. I didn't think I would have it in time to work on it for January. So I was like, well, I haven't unboxed it yet. So what if I just do two in one? So I have another kit for the Alice in a Winter Wonderland event that I can do that with. If you guys enjoy, enjoy it, I can do it for that. I have hair all over me, but we'll see. Okay, let's get back to my week. Um, I talked to you guys on Monday. So Tuesday, Stephen was off work and we kind of just <sighs> vegged. <laughs> I think we both needed it. Um, and then Wednesday, I went and met up with my best friend and her kids for Christmas. Um, I hadn't seen them in a while. I did make the blanket on Tuesday night, which I can pop a picture up here. Uh, if you watched my Joanne's haul at the beginning of the season, I showed you guys the fabric that I picked up. So I did, uh, make that on Tuesday. Steven and I were watching one of our shows and I was just sitting on the floor in the living room and I was able to pull that together pretty quickly. I've made enough of them now that I kind of just, it's like autopilot. I just know what I need to do. Uh, so I got that done in time to see them on Wednesday. Um, her kids are, oh my gosh, growing up so quickly. I remember when her oldest was born and he's going to be eight next week, which is crazy. Ugh. And then she has, her daughter is, I think she'll be five over the summer. And then she has a newborn who was born in August. So it was fun though. It was good to see them. Um, the kids are crazy in a good way. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I did that on Wednesday. And then I just kind of hung out. I finished, I didn't finish it that day, but I worked on my diamond painting and... Yeah, the house is kind of a mess, but I don't really care. <laughs> I enjoyed the downtime. Um, I feel like sometimes when you're on vacation from work, but you don't go anywhere, you just feel like you need to do your usual household things. And, you know, I kept up on some stuff, but it's definitely in that, like, state of, okay, we're a week out from Christmas and this house is just kind of a mess. So... Um, oh, that's what happened on Tuesday. So let me go back to Tuesday. Tuesday, um, Monday night, Luna got sick. And it's not really like her. She doesn't have hairballs. Um, Neville, our cat who passed away in October, he got hairballs all the time. He had a very, like, thick, luxurious coat. And he just always had hairballs. Luna's hair is quite short I mean Neville was technically a you know domestic short hair or whatever he was and um you know Luna is the same I guess technically but she's just so small she really doesn't have hairballs so we were kind of just like eh. she must have just had something in there that was making her uncomfortable so she actually got sick once and then before I went to bed and then early Wednesday morning, she got sick again. And then she got sick Wednesday, like at nine o'clock. So of course we're like, okay, what's going on here? Um, got in touch with some people and they're like, you know, just monitor her. She was her usual self. She was eating, she was drinking, she was 
purring like a maniac. She was playing and, you know, the person we spoke to, um, it's someone, to, someone that Steven works with, his daughter is a, a vet and she was like, you know, do you have poinsettias? Which no, we don't. Poinsettias are highly, highly, um, harmful to cats. I've never had poinsettias in my house. Um, and it kind of just came down to, she must have just gotten into something over Christmas. So, you know, she got new food, she got new treats. We had a bunch of people over on Christmas, so there was food around and, you know, my nieces are messy. And uh, so we were monitoring her and the decision was if she's ill again, then take her to the vet. So she didn't get ill uh, after that. She was fine. Like, honestly, she was completely fine. But the morning that we lost Neville, he was completely fine. So we were both, Stephen and I were both on edge. So we just kind of hung out with her. We both wanted to be with her, keep an eye on her. So, but she's fine. She is, she's her, she was her usual self the whole time. And that's why we were kind of like, she's not in distress. Like we could tell she wasn't in distress like Neville was. Like we got up and we were out of here in seconds when it happened, when, you know, everything happened with Neville, but it wasn't like that with her. So, you know, we were, we felt pretty reassured. Our vet um, does home visits, like our regular vet, not the emergency vet, obviously. So, you know, and she had taken care of Steven's pets since he was a child. So she knows him. So if, you know, if we needed to get in, I'm sure she would have helped us out, but we, um, we're pretty confident that she was okay and she is she thankfully she um like i said she didn't get sick again i feel like we we're both just so traumatized from the situation with neville um that we were just ready to go <laughs> but i'm glad we didn't of course it would have been fine if we had i would have not have cared much but uh, she's okay. That's all that really matters, right? I feel like that turned into a big long tangent. So moral of the story, we did nothing on Tuesday because we were hanging out with her and making sure she was okay. Wednesday, went and saw my friend and her kids. Um, Thursday and Friday were pretty much lazy days for me here. I filmed videos. I finished my last diamond painting of the year. Uh, it was just pretty low key and I enjoyed it. I was watching, you know, catching up on people's videos from how the holidays that I had missed out on and it was nice. It was just pretty relaxing. Uh, so I'm grateful for that. I do have a bunch of laundry to fold though that I had done during that time, but I just didn't want to fold it. <laughs> Steven came home from work both Thursday and Friday and he's like, man, you didn't fold the laundry? Because he absolutely hates folding laundry. So it's still sitting there. I haven't folded it yet. And I have more laundry to do. So way to go, Laura. Um, this morning, we got up and went and picked up some groceries. And we actually went into Walmart because on Tuesday, when everything was going on with Luna, we were concerned that it was our Christmas tree that was making her sick because she likes to get in it. She likes to um, nibble at the branches and I have flocked trees in the living room and the dining room. So we actually took those trees down, which made me really sad. But of course, if that was a contributing factor to what was going on with her, um, you know, which the vet that we spoke to said, you know, those can be harmful to cats. So we took down those two trees. I still have the trees up in our bedroom and the spare room because we close those doors. She doesn't get in there. Um, the tree in our bedroom is not flocked, but the one in here in the spare room is. So those two are still up, but the, the main one in the living room is down just because, like I said, if it was contributing to her being in, you know, being sick, I didn't want to keep it up. So when we went to Walmart today, we picked up our groceries and then we went in because I had heard that Walmart was 75% off for Christmas on the 31st, but they were still 50%. 
um, oh geez, they had a bunch of the tree that we're looking at. We're looking to go non-flocked in our living room next year, um, which we had already talked about getting a new tree because of our new couch. We kind of want something thinner but taller. Um, so a new tree was on the radar anyway, which you may be thinking, Laura, when I listened to your whip and chat last week, you said you picked up a tree on 50% off. I did, but I didn't, I counted wrong. We're adding a tree next year and replacing a tree. So I only picked up one, so I needed to get two. But I was like, well, why don't I just wait and see if I can get one at 75% off? So we went in today, still 50%. But the tree that we're looking at, they had a bunch of. So we decided not to pick it up at 50. And we're going to go back either tomorrow or Monday. Because we're both off on Monday. And we're going to see if they're 75% off and then grab one. So they had a bunch. There's two that we're looking at. We need to measure to see if a seven and a half foot tree would fit. Uh, so we need to do that before we go back anyway. So... That's what we did today. Um, now I filmed my year in review, 45 kits. Oh my gosh, I was like dying of thirst by the end of that. <laughs> it was uh, it was a lot. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, it's really fun to watch full, like all of your completed videos I think it's or all of your completed kits I think it's so satisfying to see them done so hopefully you guys enjoyed that and then I did some picking up in the kitchen I just had dishes and all that fun stuff to do putting all the groceries away I'm filming this video and then I'm gonna make us some snacks and we're going to we're watching Yellowstone, um, which I mentioned in one of my past videos because I was appreciating Kevin Costner. Because, <sighs> man, for I, I forgot how old he is. I looked it up, but I can't remember now. But he looks good. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> so uh, we're going to binge that tonight. We're on, I think we're almost finished with season two. We're going to binge that, and then we're going to watch the ball drop. And then it'll be... 2023 and I am hoping for a good year for me for you for everybody it's been two crappy years for me personally like in my personal life so I'm hoping for hoping for something something good um oh yesterday which was oh I'm losing my voice <clears throat> I don't have my water Hey, Steven, yeah. can you bring me my water jug? My water jug. Yeah, it's on the end table by the couch. <laughs> Here he comes, my knight in shining armor. I know. Thank you. Do you want to say Happy New Year to the people? Do you want to say Happy New Year? Happy New Year. <laughs> Come on. What's in it? Just water. Yeah. It's still cold. I know. Look at that. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay. I love you. You're welcome. Love you too. Have fun. Thanks. <laughs> He's just a cutest. Okay. Um. Now I lost my train of thought because he was being so cute. Um. Did I just lose a label? 37.26. Oh no, this is just out of order. 37.26. Yeah, okay. 30.40. I did lose a label. 30.40. What did I do here? What did I do? See what happens when I get distracted? Um, 30.40. Oh, haha. This is 3740. 30, 30, 31, 30, 42, 3726. Okay, there we go. Ay, ay, ay. What was I talking about? I don't remember. <laughs> I 
feel like I should pause and go back and find out what I was talking about. Let me do that. Hold on. So naturally, I hadn't finished my thoughts. So I don't know what I was about to say. And I sounded pretty excited about it. So sorry to leave you hanging. But now I'm wondering what I was trying to say. Something about yesterday. I got nothing. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, we don't go out on New Year's Eve. I've, uh, yeah, I don't think I've ever gone out on New Year's Eve. I am a homebody all the time. And I'm especially a homebody on New Year's Eve. I am very uncomfortable with drinking, with alcohol and people drinking and driving. Um, eh. So, I'm a homebody. So, I'm looking forward to it. We are going to be having... I'm going to make some nachos. I'm going to make... Steven wanted soft pretzel bites, so we picked some of those up. And I'm just going to do a cheese and cracker tray. So, just some little snackies. And, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I need to watch... Uh, Brie from Painting with Pities is live right now. I, I hopped in her live. I was there for a few, and then I was like, I really need to film this. So, I'm going to finish this up, pop back over to her live while I'm making the snackies. And then, yeah. So in terms of events, I, I did do my video yesterday, which was planning my January events. And that video actually went over really well with you guys. Um, by yesterday, I mean that video went up on Saturday, the 31st, not yesterday for you guys. Um, and a lot of you seemed to really enjoy it and you asked that it is something that I do every three months. So I think I'm going to keep that going. But um, in terms of events that I'm participating in this year, this is not linked to an event. It's just a kit I want to work on. And I also worked on four Diamond Art Clubs in a row in December. And I can't remember... I feel like I worked on three. Do I have my notebook here? I do. I worked on four diamond art clubs in a row in December. I did Starry Eyed Santa, Irish Christmas Fay, Fireside Christmas, and Little Tin Soldier. And then I also did... So they were broken up by a craftably. So my last kit in November was a craftably. So that's good. But I didn't want to do, I originally planned four more Diamond Art Clubs in January. And I was like, you can't do that. You need to do something else. So when I found out that this kit would be here in time, I was like, perfect. Let's do that. So my, my other three will be Diamond Art Clubs, but this kit is not tied to an event. And then I'm doing Bree's event, Paint, Painting with Pities is her YouTube channel. I'll link it down below. She's doing a Jeremiah Kettner event. And then I'm going to do a kit that is just one I wanted to work on. And then I'll be participating in Lindsay from Life with Lindsay's event, Alice in a Winter Wonderland. Now in that video uh, from Saturday, I did talk about all of the events happening. I just kind of briefly mentioned them all. So... Definitely check that out if you're interested. I am trying again this year to not focus so much on events. I definitely want to support my friends and new creators and people in the in the um, community. But I also just want to work on kits I want to work on. I was pretty proud of myself while I was filming my year in review. I would mention like this was tied to this event, this was not tied to an event, and I was pretty proud of myself of how many kits I just did because I wanted to do them, not because I needed to do them for an event. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, and I'm trying to focus and do the same thing this year because I have a big stash. I have things I want to work on, so I need to just do it. Oh my gosh, it just came back to me what I was going to say. <laughs> okay, so before 
I rudely interrupted myself and asked for my own water bottle. I was going to tell you guys that I started my reading corner yesterday. So I put together my bookshelves last night. I actually decided to order two more um, because it'll fit really nicely in my space that I have in the bedroom. They're just, they're short. They're just short little like four, three or four cube bookshelves. Um, so I ordered those and I also, <laughs> I put those together and then I ordered two more. I ordered, did I order anything else? I don't think so, but guess what came in the mail today? And I am way too excited about this and I need to know if you guys are this extra with your books. I'm trying to find, there it is. So I'm going to cover my last name because my last name is on it but I ordered a book stamper embosser thing not embosser what is this called anyway it's like it's not a stamp but it's the one that like is textured in your book so all my books are gonna say from the library of Laura my last name isn't that so cool isn't it extra <laughs> I found a place on Etsy that actually did them very reasonably. Uh, they're quite overpriced from some people. And I understand like they have to do things to make it actually work. I get that. But this place, they were having a sale, but even off the sale, they were substantially cheaper than some of the other shops and they had really good reviews. So I got it. And I am so excited to put my little library together. I will be doing a video on it. Not like putting it together, but I'll do like a little tour for you all. Um, there was some interest in that. It's exciting. I had some comments on that video where I start where I was talking about it, where people were like, oh my gosh, another diamond painter who reads. <laughs> so that's exciting. I need to I need to get my reading in check. I'm still reading A Court of Thorns and Roses, which um, I started that in a very, at a very busy time of the year, so I don't feel too bad, but I need to, I need to get on that. So I have no idea how long this video is because I have started and stopped way too many times. And I'm going to do it again here in a second because I want to grab some ABs. Um, now that I have all of the colors laid out, I want to go through some of my gray and silver ABs and see what I have um, cause I think, I think I want to add some, some stuff to this kit. So we're almost done. It's a very muted, but pretty color palette. I think it's going to be a really beautiful piece. This will be my largest Dynoon shop that I've worked on. Um, my first order from them, I ordered small kits because I wasn't sure about the quality and because they're expensive <laughs> they are expensive but they got me with sales and i won gift cards so there are a lot of opportunities they do give a lot of opportunities through their affiliates to win gift cards at least they did in november and december so if you're on instagram and you want to try die moon shop definitely keep an eye out for some of their giveaways for gift cards. Okay, so I have my diamonds all kitted up. I do wanna run this sticker. Is it gonna fit a little? Maybe I'll just tape it. Maybe that's what I'll do. Tape dispenser. Tape this to my drills. Actually, I'm going to tape it from the inside so I can kind of try to save it because I do save all of the pictures for once I finish a kit I have a little container that I keep them in all right so uh, that is I think it's a asterius asterius I don't know all right let me go grab some ab's and we're gonna look through and see if there's anything that we want to use. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm specifically thinking about the gray DMC colors that are in here. And I also wanted to look at my sparklers. So there are 
two colors, uh, two grays, 317 and 414, which I have both of them in ABs. Now, I don't know for sure that I'm going to use these because if you see these ABs, they have that like green blue shift and I don't know if I'm gonna like that effect but I did pull these I'm gonna put them in here just to have I don't know I don't know if that's gonna work um but I am interested in possibly some crystals so here's the artwork again right there and I just kind of feel like some of the stars the crystals might look pretty cool so, I'm just looking here, I'm thinking that this white opal might look cool in a couple of spots. So I'm going to pull that and also interested in just the regular silver, which I don't see here. I wonder if I have that pulled. Oh, I do. You know what? I think I have that with my little tin soldier accessories, which is, oh, that's not it. What storage did I use for that? Is it this one? To look i'll have to try to track down down those um those particular sparklers i wonder where those are interesting let me double check myself because it looks like i yeah sunshine they should be with the i have these in alphabetical order so they should be there Computer, I don't think I would like. Well, you guys can actually see what I'm flipping through. No. Nothing here is calling my name. Frost. No. Yeah, I'll have to try to track down those silver sparklers. But I do think that this white opal would be really pretty. And we'll see about these. I may decide not to use any special drills. Um, I don't know. I kind of think she looks really pretty, but I also think, well, clearly I think she's really pretty because I picked the artwork, but I also think that some of these, I don't know. We'll see. I may actually head over to Dye Moon Shop's uh, YouTube channel and see if they have a special treatment video on this kit. Uh, they used to do that all the time. I don't know if they still do that. I didn't purchase the special treatment pack to go with this kit, but I could probably piece it together myself. Uh, so I might, I might head over there and see what they did. And I can kind of get an idea for what kind of drills they used. Anyway, this is such a random video. <laughs> Uh, but I am posting this on Monday, January 2nd. So I hope you all had a wonderful new year. Um, it's going to be weird not seeing you guys every day, but I am back to my regular schedule of Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, I know I mentioned this in yesterday's video, but let me know if you like the new intro, the new um, channel art, the new banner, all that fun stuff. It was, it was some work making it all happen, but I enjoyed it and I hope that you guys like it as well. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!